became a techie and you know hey everyone what's up it's bro man we're back finally oh my god we're so back what's up uh it's been busy you know with uh we had guardian con and then we rebranded it and we have gcx and i'm sure you've all seen that video and it's been busy lots of travel lots of weddings lots of uploads from playthroughs we've been doing now a lot of original content and you know what i understand some of you you're like where are my original content at and guess what it's right here this is where it's at it's in this video so uh i'm happy i'm happy that we're all back together that we can hug and then we can do some original shit. so uh soon in the destiny universe we have solstice of heroes coming up uh solstice of heroes was a really fun event um at the end of you know d d2 year one it was really fun uh brought some interest in the game you know there's it's just lots it's lots of you know, it's interesting it's fun um and one of the things that made me really excited when they announced it before they gave us any details was uh bungie has really been nailing oh my god toxic lord of wolves uh bungie's really been nailing the uh the feel of events that they've been rolling out you know the, the launch of the menagerie the launch of uh um <clears throat> you know callus's trophy room and all this other stuff um it's really all been tied together and it's landed really well now whether or not it's been adjusted into a place that you don't like it's that's entirely different conversation i i think that the the my default mindset now is oh bungie's doing something new i'm excited about it as opposed to like what it was for a year bungie's doing something new i i really hope it turns out okay um so we're going to talk about a couple of the things or, or the primary thing that i find really interesting about solstice of heroes um is the ability to you know earn orbs uh but beyond that you know you have elemental specific buffs uh so solar element buff uh and you get these by collecting orbs you use your abilities you use your solar abilities you use your void abilities right you kill things they the the bad guys they step in the fire okay and then you get the you get the you get the orbs uh and then you have enough of these orbs and you can give yourself unique buffs um for solar uh while you're empowered okay uh you emit a burning wave of energy that does damage to stuff that's around you so you get like a like a you know like a, a common diablo thorns aura right you know i don't know how damaging this will be but i do think it's really interesting there's some very traditional rpg elements that bungie has not explored and one of those things obviously in a game that's about moving woo, um are those AOE auras, you know, not necessarily something that we have a lot of control over. Now you, you have your abilities, you know, like this is technically like an aura of, of infinite ammunition when you're on this. But the idea of damage going out is actually super exciting to me because um, every MMO of, or RPG I've ever played, I liked doing lots of damage all the time over time as much as I could. So that's exciting to me. I like the I like the solar element buff. Then we have the void element buff. OK uh crouch while empowered with void energy to become invisible gain true sight and enhanced ability regeneration now this actually has me really excited because as you know uh, as, a, as a titan okay as a titan all right we already have some pretty solid ability regeneration that we can find in our little book of titan tricks but having more of that would be awesome going invisible isn't in our book of tricks and uh true sight not in our book of tricks uh, that is something that's going to change the way that, you know, you get to play for most of the other subclasses, and it's going to feel really good. Uh, and then Arc Element buff, well, while empowered, Guardians will move with enhanced speed and do greater melee and sword damage. Again, this is sort of, again, this is fundamentally changing the way that you play. Uh, increased movement speed is actually bonkers. I think it's really exciting. I'm excited to do raids with increased movement speed. And in general, you know, run around the world feeling like a zappy fast man or lady or Apache attack helicopter. Um, these buffs are not going to be active in competitive or Gambit Prime, which I think is a smart move, uh, but they will be active in quick play. And I think that that is going to make quick play the best playlist for a while. Um, in addition to all this, we're getting new combat meditations in the European Aerial Zone, which is a match-made activity. It seems like there's a little bit of uh, procedural cook behind it. 
Uh, you'll fight different enemies there. It'll sort of change and grow and introduce us to a little bit more of the story, which I think is fantastic. But all of that being said, this is a whole bunch of content to just kind of be throwing in for everyone who plays Destiny, which I think is fantastic. Um, you'll get all sorts of Solstice rewards. You know, you get to upgrade your armor again with the cool glows, which is awesome. Uh, you get all sorts of ghosts. You have a tiny Scooty Puff Jr. Sparrow that you can use. You can turn your ghost into a beach ball, all that good shit. And then there's a whole bunch of new emotes. But I wanted to talk about what I love about this event. So we had this experience, you know, previously when we all got to, you know, get a little drunk on all the stuff. I think that was... And I can't now I can't remember which event it was where you had all these like, temporary buffs. Oh, the revelry. Um, you have all these buffs that you can sort of like switch in and out. And you can drink these potions and you feel really good. And that was an awesome feel. Um, you know, part of me didn't like the 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 breakup of that. I, I enjoyed the crafting experience, right, of, of those potions or of those buffs. But um, the more open world experience of collecting orbs and getting buffs is is a little bit more active um an experience and obviously you know the idea of matching everything up on your character doing more damage that feels good so you're rambling a lot bro man you just told me a bunch of shit i already know what the tell me tell me bro man you tell me with your mouth sir what what does this mean what why is this exciting to you um very recently after you know bungie and activision split and we started to get content that's very obviously just coming from them uh Bungie has shown an increased, I, I, I don't know if you'd say the word willingness because they might've want wanted to do this all along, but they're willing to play around a little bit more. You're starting to see things that are more unique. You have the tribute hall, you have this solstice of heroes that's gonna fundamentally change your experience a lot more. Um, you know, more things that are coming into the game, uh, staff being more relaxed, you know, on social media, things like that. Um, but when Bungie goes in and they're not afraid to make stuff that's going to change the way that you raid, they're not going to, they're not afraid to change the way quick play is going to feel for a little while. They're not afraid to change the way you're going to run strikes. Um, I think that that is an incredibly positive step forward because one of the biggest critiques of Destiny and a lot of modern games in general is eventually it starts to feel really samey. It starts to feel like, you know, I, I ran this strike a thousand times. Um, I ran the strike a thousand times. Like, why? Well, I, I I don't really want to do it anymore. Or, like, I I played Gambit so much so I could get the hush. Which, oh my God, did I ever play Gambit enough to get the hush? Or I played enough comp so I could finally have the mountaintop and the recluse. To everybody who said I sucked at PvP, uh, I you know I finally I got that fucking bread. Okay, buds. Um, and it. It's exciting to me because it's showing a uh, it's showing a willingness to really play around with the core formula of the game, and in doing that, keep people engaged over the long term. Um, going forward, you know, my dream for Destiny has sort of always been, man, I would love, I'd love to have a Destiny experience where I log in every week and there's something new and different or or engaging to do, and that doesn't necessarily mean like there always has to be an event, but I think that we've seen Bungie sort of scaling into these events like they seem to be lasting longer. Uh, the seasonal spacing is really starting to hit. I know that when we launched, when they launched seasons, it was a little like, well, like iffy and didn't necessarily pop right off the bat. But Bungie bringing out, you know, the best of what they've got um, and really trying to reinvent things is cool. I am looking forward to seeing how, you know, this Solstice of Heroes as it, from a game design standpoint, it's going to inform the way they approach stuff in the future. Um, and that might seem a little bit high-minded, or you might be thinking like, oh, I don't I don't really, I don't know, bro, man. I don't know about that. Um, here's the thing. When companies take risks and they are received positively, much like the announcement for Shadowkeep and the amount of openness that we've been seeing lately from Bungie answering a lot of questions, direct answers from Luke Smith, uh, direct answers about Lord of Wolves. What do I get for dealing with this bullshit? Well, you get a cool emblem, just like you get a cool laser tag emblem. It's fucking great. Um, and you're, you're starting to see all of this happen. 
the Solstice of Heroes is, again, another event that is going to start teaching us the language that Bungie is going to be using to communicate with us in the game about these are the experiences that you can expect. These are the experiences that you can expect to grow with you and your guardian going forward. And I am really excited about that. I would love to come back every month of the year in Destiny and be like, wow, you know, obviously some months are launch months. That's probably going to be pretty standard fare, like nothing weird. But things like Arc Week or Solar Week or Void Week, if they ever happen, uh, things like Solstice of Heroes, like the Tribute Hall, these these things that are really solid deliveries that that, you know, get you engaged for a month or so to really sort of dig into what is in Destiny. And the more cyclical I feel they, they make this, the more hooks they put in to get everyone to return, the more healthy Destiny is going to get from a player base standpoint. More people are going to show up, which means matchmaking will be faster for Crucible. You'll have more noobs to punish and things like that. And obviously going into September, we have a free-to-play entry point, which is like... Uh, a really awesome big deal. Uh, and I'm <laughs> super excited about all of the, I guess you can't call them Christmas noobs if they're coming in. Um, call them like uh, Halloween candy <laughs> for all of us. Um, you know, so it's a chance for us to engage with the game in a new way. And we get to continuously engage with the game in a new way, you know, as they continue to roll things out continually, as I say the word continuous. Um, <laughs> But yeah, that's that's what I got about Solstice of Heroes. I, I think that it's a lot more than just another really awesome event. I think that it I think that it is you know, the continued conversation that we all want to have with Bungie about, you know, where we're all taking this game together going forward. And I personally can't wait for Shadowkeep. I'm fucking stoked about that. And uh, events like Solstice of Heroes gives me a lot of confidence about what's going to be happening after shadow keep comes out as well so that's what i got for you i hope you enjoyed this nice little discussion about uh the video game that we all enjoy thank you for watching thanks for being part of it we're coming up on 250 000 subscribers on youtube which is a number i never thought i'd get so i appreciate all of you that share this with your family with your friends with your dogs cats maybe pet hippopotamuses um i think you're all beautiful and i will talk to you next time Smile. Peace.